So hey guys, uh, I'm back trying out a different camera. A um, little GoPro action for you. So digging into this Jeep. Yep, this is my baby right here, 1990YJ. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know. Um, getting closer. Nice Edelbrock. Heads there, all bolted down. Pretty cool. And I uh, got the comp cams. Timing gear plate, just running a, uh, actually changed from gear drive to just the uh, uh, timing chain. Uh, went with the cloys. It was just becoming a pain to try to get that, that gear drive working right. So uh, went went to the basics and uh, went back to the regular timing chain. But what I kind of wanted to talk to you about real quick was uh, I moved along to the, um, Transmission pan, right? So, this is what I'm going with. Wrong. <laughs> so anyway, let me tell you a little story about this real quick. And I'll make this pretty quick, right? So, because I know everybody's wanting to work on their hot rods, Jeeps, what have you. So I got this $36.99 gasket, right? And it was going to be the best gasket ever for my new B&M. I said B&M racing uh, what is it, uh, deep sump pan, right? So I thought, I have to have the best gasket, right? So I'm thinking this Moroso, and I like Moroso, I, don't get me wrong, um, but evidently, I wasn't getting the crush factor. I mean, there's just very little impregnation, and yes, I did say impregnation, for all of you pervs out there. Uh, I just didn't seem to want to uh, impregnate. You know what I mean? Like I was having trouble. I was having a lot of trouble. So it just wasn't working out. I could not get the, uh, I mean, I got it torqued because I can torque, but I mean, I could really torque, but I couldn't, it just didn't feel right. You know, sometimes when you're torquing, it's just not feeling right. So you gotta like you just move on to something else, right? So anyway, all right, enough of that gross humor. Uh, to be serious, it just didn't feel right. I was getting some, you know, it just wasn't torquing correctly. So I decided, and, and then, and maybe I over-tightened it because it wasn't torquing correctly. I don't know, but I only took it to 12 pounds. And I think that's kind of what they recommend was 12 pounds. Actually, Moroso uh, might have recommended 10, so maybe I did go over it. I don't know. Maybe I did. Not saying I over-torqued, but I could have. <laughs> Usually it's under-torquing, but it's the complaint. But anyway, I uh, just going back to the gasket here, I... I felt like it was also I could get a I could get a fingernail under like a couple of places so maybe it was a little over tight but I still didn't like it it just what caused it to be over tight I think was because it just it wouldn't torque correctly under the condition now keep in mind this B&M is an aluminum pan it's a very thick sturdy aluminum pan. the the lip on it is probably a half an inch I mean it's really really thick so if you take a look yeah my wall of shame all the parts that I have taken out. If you look at this lip on this pan, this is the original one. It's a chrome. It's a chromey. Um, it's really not that thick. It's just stamped steel. And then it has these raised areas on the underneath. And so that's, if you were to use that rubber uh, Moroso uh, seal or gasket on that pan, it would split it. It had the, uh, that pan had the original thin rubber that comes the neoprene, whatever piece of crap, the little flimsy thing. I don't, who am I say? If it works, it works, right? So I just wasn't happy with how things were turning out. I think you know that already. So let me take you underneath and I'll show you how things did turn out. Uh, yep, there she is and all her glory, little Taz there for you. She's gonna be hitting the streets here soon. So here is the B&M Deep Sump trans pan and it's a thing of beauty it really is i mean it's just rock solid this lip like i said is about a half an inch and uh, got her all bolted in there and what did i do i followed manufacturers recommendations and i went with the gasket the very gasket they sent me with the pan go figure why are we always trying to do stuff better than the manufacturer i don't know I mean, sometimes they send you cheap shit. I mean, like the little neoprene, uh, you know, with the basic stamp pans, maybe. Uh, and you think, oh, I gotta rush out and buy a $36 
Moroso pan gasket like this that may or may not be sealing. I'm not saying that it wouldn't have, but I'm not saying that it would have. I just didn't feel right, but my gut, you know, and I just didn't feel right about it. 